Phil, look at this. It's so fast. That's cool, but I'm trying to focus. So if you can just chill out, that'd be that'd be really nice. Yeah, yeah thanks. Dude, what the f Stop! Dude, I'm so over this. I'm gonna show that puzzle who's boss. Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'm gonna be showing you a really interesting item that I found. It is Traxxas 1 million weight lubricant. For reference, this is what we normally have you know, at our store, it is 50K. This is the thickest Traxxas lube that we stock right now, but I was lucky enough to find 1 million weight lube. So we're gonna open this up and apply it to a bunch of puzzles that we think are naturally really fast and we'll see how this lube performs. I guess we're going to be unboxing this for the first time. It has this like seal here and I'm gonna pull this tab out and we're gonna see what it looks like. So let's find out. Oh boy. It's very, very sticky. Look at that. Oh my God, look. Look at this. It, it's like a solid. So most silicone-based lubes have this rating system where the manufacturer uses a number to describe how thick the lube is. And the higher the number, the thicker the lube is going to get. And the lower the number, the more runny it is and uh, the more like water it is. Most lubes we have are around like 10,000, 30,000, 50,000. That's what this one here is. But this one is a million. Look how thick this thing is, it's crazy. So this is uh, an angstrom applicator. <laughs> it just, it is so thick. So like any good cuber, we're gonna ask the age old question, will it lube? So step one, pick the most expensive cube and use this lube that we've never used before on it. This is the GAN 12 Maglev. It spins super fast and some people say it overturns. So we're gonna see what happens. So I'm going to take this. This already feels like it's too much. Okay, do you think this is okay? Maybe, we'll find out. It's actually completely fine. I was about to say, like, don't tell me it's actually really good. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, it's, I, I don't mind it. I'm gonna put some more in. I don't mind this, it's actually kind of good. Here. Wait, that's, that's really good. Yeah, it's actually kind of good. <laughs> like, I actually like it I more could, now. <laughs> I could use this tube now. All right, so we figured out that the lube actually works. It adds some control, but it's not like what the number might make you think. Like it's not going to make it like a million times slower. It's actually quite nice. So we're gonna continue adding it to see what happens and if it ever slows down because there's too much lube. All right, let's take like a big chunk this time. Oh shoot. I think I think this is GG. This is, this is gross. I think it's over. <laughs> there are some pieces that are lubed, right? And so it's being, they're being stuck together by the lube and the, the pieces that are, that haven't been lubed like turn really well. For most people, they're like, okay, I'm just gonna wait for the lube to distribute, but I'm not even sure whether this will distribute. Okay. Now it's back to being really fast, but it's fast and smooth now. This, uh, this lube is really smooth. Oh yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> so we figured out that this lube is effective. So this is the Pyraminx that uh, Steven was using to annoy me. I'm gonna put this lube in the Pyraminx and see how it goes. Oh man. <laughs> oh, hold on. This needs a little break in. <laughs> so, conclusion the Weilong Maglev cannot be defeated. So, this is the Mortri Tienma. This is the Maglev version. It's extremely quick. So we're going to lube it with weight 1 million. Wait, this lube is actually good on this cube. This is a nice cube. Okay, so we found an old Volk. It's a little on the slow side because it's just been around for a long time and probably collecting dust on the inside. So we're gonna use this on the Volk and see how slow we can get it. That is a meaty amount of lube. Oh, that is too much actually. Hold on, let me let me spread it to some, some other part of the cube. You mean the Volk power? Ah! 
This cube is over. <laughs> Try the green side. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. It's it's over. Yeah. Yeah, the green side is the one I looped. Oh really? Yeah. Guess. All right, last cube. We're gonna try the RS3M. What if you just dip the piece in? It's like I feel like I'm eating a chicken nugget or something. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that? There's like a. <laughs> this cube is ruined. So this one million weight lube is really interesting because it's really effective on cubes that I think most people consider a little too fast out of the box, like some of the more advanced TMI cubes and also the GAN 12. Like this cube turns really nice. Like it's actually usable now, very comfortably usable. So will it lube? Actually, kind of. It's uh, surprisingly effective on cubes that I think people consider too fast and it has done really nothing to make this Pyraminx less annoying. So I think this is gonna stay annoying and we ruined these two cubes, but it was all for science. Okay, so you should so say I'm goodbye. Say the thing about how you should like and comment and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, like, subscribe, and like. And turn on that bell thing. Yeah, and, and, and turn on the bell thing, because reasons. Don't forget to bell the video and click that like.